All right, everybody, what is going on? THP Gaming here, and today I got a special video for you guys here with the NBA season right around the corner. I figured I would uh, make my playoff predictions for this season. I was gonna actually wait and make my predictions after I seen everybody play at least once, you know, one round, the very first game. So I have kind of a better idea, but I think I'm pretty, I feel pretty strong about this list. So um, there's the overhead. I'll make my explanations and whatnot as we uh, individualize each and every one of these. Starting from the west. I'm sorry, there's kind of a shadow. There wasn't a really good spot to do this this year, but uh, <laughs> we got the Warriors and the Clippers. It's hard to see. My pen I used, a pretty crappy pen, not gonna lie. <laughs> there you have them. Warriors and four over the Clippers. Uh, quite honestly, I don't even know who the Clippers have at this point. I mean, they got rid of Harris. They got rid of that tall guy that doesn't really do anything anyways. I don't even know who they have, really. Besides, I think they got, like, what, Montreal Harrow or whatever his name is, I think. I don't remember what his name is, just Harrow. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the Warriors winning in four over the Clippers. Now Rockets over the Jazz. I have them 4-3 just because I think this is going to be a really, really good matchup. Um, it could potentially be an upset. Um, all the Jazz really has to do is lock down James Harden. That's all they got to do. But, of course, that's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> um, I, so, yeah, I mean, I got the Rockets in four, seven, I mean, four to three. I think the, the Jazz could potentially, you know, beat them. But, um, I got the Rockets. So now we got the Blazers and the Thunder. Two choke artists that uh, like to choke uh, in the first round, respectively. Um, I got the Blazers and the Thunder here. Thunder winning four to two. I think that'll be that series will be pretty close, closer than maybe some people are giving it credit for. But I think Paul George, Russell Westbrook, Stephen Adams and company will overcome the Blazers with just a Lillard and company because you know they lost their big man. If if the if the if the Trailblazers still had Nurkic, right? I think the Blazers might actually win, but um, since he's out for the whole season, uh, I think Adams will get the advantage down low, and um, Thunder will win four to two. Plus, who knows how many uh, steals Paul George will have and whatnot. So now we got the Nuggets and the Spurs. Um, I didn't think this one was going to be really close. I could be wrong, though. I probably am wrong. A lot of people like picking the Spurs in the playoffs, but they just they haven't done much recently in the playoffs. Um, I got a bunch of fucking... My bad. <laughs> um, I'll give them one game, because I think they could probably win one game. Because um, the Nuggets aren't perfect. But, um, yeah. So back up top... We got Warriors versus, I don't even know where the hell I am, <laughs> Warriors versus Rockets, uh, four to two. Um, ultimately, the Warriors will figure out James Harden and um, company, and they'll just destroy him eventually. They'll give them two games, about two games, I think. I don't think it'll be a sweep. I'm sure they'll get, for sure, at least one game. I think they could probably get two. Um... Yeah, the Warriors are just going to run through them, though. And then down here, Nuggets vs. Thunder. Kind of the same situation. Um, nuggets and the Thunder. I got the Nuggets in 5, 4-1 to one versus the Thunder. I think the Thunder will probably end up, you know, choking. Um, they may or may not. I'm, like, I'm predicting, like... Some team is going to be plagued with some injuries, and well, I hope it's the Warriors. <laughs> I really, really think the Thunder is injury-prone to do something about that, you know. But then the Nuggets will be the Nuggets. Um, like I said, the Thunder will most likely choke, so I mean, it'll be 4-1. to one. I'll give them one game. 
Then in the semi here, we have the Nuggets and the Warriors. I got the Warriors 4-2 to over the Nuggets in six games. Because ultimately, they'll uh, dominate, you know, being so close to the finals. And the Nuggets haven't gotten that far since in how long? <laughs> I mean, so I mean, yeah, I mean, Warriors will win. They'll make it to the championship. I know on the East, you already seen who the champion is, but I'll make my cases. Uh, we got the Bucks here versus the Pistons. Bucks will sweep, clean sweep the Pistons. Pistons don't have anybody but a bunch of bigs. Um, and that'll be about that. I mean, there's not so much really to say about that. <laughs> I, I, if they win, they might. If they win, they win one game. The Pistons. I guess to be honest. The Bucks might give them one game, but um, here's where things get interesting. Celtics and the Pacers. I'm really, really scared about the Celtics because I don't think nobody really knows exactly what Celtic team um, they're going to be. Are they going to be the crappy Celtic team or are they going to be the playoff amazing, insane in the membrane Celtic squad? that we thought they were. Um, of course, they're playing the Pacers, who have one of the best defenses in the league. Um, Pacers don't have a great offense. That's one thing the Celtics have, for sure. They have a great offense. But um, I think that'll be a close game series. I don't know if it'll go to seven, but I mean, it'll be pretty close regardless. But the Celtics will win over the Pacers. Um, over here, so Sixers versus Nets. I really wanted to pick an upset. Everyone is picking the Nets over the Sixers, but the Sixers are just, they got too much talent. Just because Ben can't hit a jumper, I mean, that's not an excuse for them to lose. Just because he can't hit a jumper. He can do other things. He can distribute, he can defend, he can slash if he needs to, he can play make, give it to Embiid, Butler, Tobias Harris, fucking whoever else they got in that squad, because that squad is stacked. <laughs> but I mean, everyone's doubting them. I don't blame them, but Nets, Nets might get a couple games, but um, ultimately the Sixers will come out on top, I feel. And then Raptors versus the Magic. I really see this as a sweep. I. The Magic, the Orlando Magic, they've been playing really, really well the past, the last few games. The past, like, month, really, they've been one of the better teams. They've been insanely good. But, uh, come playoff time, fucking, I don't know, last time they were even in the playoffs, was what, Shaq on the team? I don't even know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be a four-game sweep. The Raptors will be the Raptors. And as long as uh, nobody steps on Kawhi Leonard's, uh, you know, lands on somebody's ankles or anything, uh, the Raptors will be a uh, definite force to be reckoned with. <laughs> That's the thing. You gotta predict these injuries, too, with these series predictions. It's really hard to do. But um, players that have a history of injuries in the playoffs, likely they'll come back, so... But um, here, Bucks for Celtics. Like I said, this it's tough because we don't know what Celtic team we're gonna get. Um, because if it's the playoff Celtics, I think they'll beat the Bucks. But um, if it's the Celtics, everyone seems to think they will be. Um, the Bucks will win. I got them in seven, just because it's kind of a toss up. I I, I picked this area last year because I wasn't sure. It, it was, I mean, it, it is really tough, but, um, down here we got Sixers and Raptors. I think the Raptors will swipe the floor with the Sixers, um, close to a sleep, though I'm sure the Sixers will probably get one game. I'm also sorry I'm, like, wobbling so much. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so now we got the Raptors and the Bucks and the Semis. And uh, this is where things will get interesting. If the Raptors will stay healthy, 
I mean, you know, it'll be tough. The Bucks, they got some injuries too. Brogdon was hurt. I think it was like, was it Ilisulfa had an injury? Um, I think Lopez got something. I don't remember. I mean, I don't know if this complete, they're completely all healed up, you know. I mean, they got a decent amount of losses the last couple, you know, weeks of the season. So, hopefully everything will turn out okay for the Bucks. But I got the Bucks beating the Raptors in six games. So, four to two. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see because I use a shitty pen, but... Finals. <laughs> Warriors first Bucks. I I mean, I, I, fucking Warriors, dude. Fuck you, Warriors. That's all I got to say. I, I, one year, just one year, give it to someone else, you know? Then you, if you want to win it the rest of the fucking time, then when it's, you know, just, just, just give us one, you know? I don't, I don't really have anything else to say about this. I really don't want the Warriors to win. I don't think nobody wants the Warriors to win. In fact, I mean, the only people that want the Warriors to win, as far as we know, are the bandwagoners. <laughs> Whatever. I got, I got to pick the Milwaukee. Whoever was on the East, I was going to pick them to win anyways, but whether it be the Raptors or the Celtics. But there is my prediction for the championship. Um, a long time coming. And <laughs> Milwaukee came one hell of a long way to get to the spot they're even at in the one seed. You know how long that's been? My God. <laughs> I don't know much, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't even alive back when <laughs> the last time they got the first seed, so that's my prediction. Milwaukee Bucks will win it all. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I'm sure the Warriors will probably win again, unfortunately. Like, let's just be honest, but do we really want the Warriors to win? No, we don't. I mean, that's why we got to roll Bucks. Do you want to go Raptors? That's fine. Celtics, even on the West, Rockets, Nuggets, Thunder somehow, you know? <laughs> we don't want them to win, but uh, my probability of prediction is the Milwaukee Bucks is winning the championship. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed my predictions. I got them right the first time this year. Last year I fucked up the seating. <laughs> but you guys let me know in a heartbeat, so thank you for that at the time. But, uh... Till then, see you next time.